As part of the expectations in the run-up to the Union Budget 2016, today we have Deloitte's Hemal Mehta, who will share his insights on the budget expectations from a standpoint of REIT. So, I wanted to share some thoughts on the pre-budget expectations on the financial sector. And when I say financial sector, it is not an independent sector per se, because financial sector in a way is linked to many more developments. What today we are hearing and listening about, and we all expect, especially make in India, smart cities, the improvement in infrastructure, real estate. So, financial service sector per se touches all the all the areas which are which are key important. And uh, the expectation is that uh, there are going to be uh, changes which are going to be connected to the key development areas. Let me touch upon some. Like, for example, private equity players have become a very big part of a uh, part of the economy today, where they are contributor to a huge investment as compared to banks and financial institutions. And private equity sector also contributes in those areas where banks or financial institution has certain restrictions. because of rbi norms in current situation there are going to be flexibilities given to some of these private equity players or the real estate players to make sure that they have a larger contribution to the economy and to push the economy as expected by the government by coming out with some of the changes in the and simplifying the tax laws on those sectors to give them enough space to operate independently without having an impact on poem or permanent establishment